UVA and Hopkins met last weekend for another historic postseason matchup. Hopkins came favored into the game after UVA had some tough losses before coming into the NCAA tournament. But if there's one thing we've learned is that previous record is completely wiped away on the game day of playoffs. Shellberger proved this by cashing in four points in the double OT game winner to send UVA to championship weekend. Shellberger continues to prove his dominance at the college level, tallying 82 points this season. His elite decision making elevates all of the players around him, leading to players like Peyton Cormier and McCabe Millen to shine. He was recently drafted second in the PLL draft, and you could easily make the argument that he should have gone first. Today I'm going to break down what makes Shellberger so talented and why he's going to succeed at the next level. Before we go any further, if you learn anything from these film breakdowns and want more, visit glacrosse.com to get your own film analyzed. Your film will be critiqued in the same way we critique the pros and college stars. We also just released our free newsletter on the website where you will receive a lacrosse tip each week. Again, check the link in the description for glacrosse.com for your very own film breakdown and our newsletter. Let's get back to the video. Here's our first one. Here is Schellenberger against Smith. Wheels down the alley. Changing direction. Left hand! UVA gets the ball in double OT, and of course they give it to Schellenberger. Schellenberger adjusts to the top of the box in the center of the field. This gives him complete creative freedom on his dodge. Schellenberger attacks downfield until Smith is level with the pick. Smith was able to get through this pick clean, but what it did was force him to go over it, putting him at a weird approach angle. This allowed Schellenberger to get a step ahead of him on his alley dodge. This is why picks are so effective even if they don't make contact, they fundamentally change how a defender will play you, putting them in awkward positions. Since Smith is in a heavy trail position, he is panicking to catch up with Schellenberger. Schellenberger knows this so he brings him all the way down to GLE and pumps the brakes on the rollback. This is so effective for two reasons. One, since Smith was trailing so heavily, all he was thinking about is catching up so it was easy to catch him off guard. Secondly, defenders in general expect after an alley dodge for you to pass through X. So when Schellenberger rolls back, it's the last thing Smith is expecting. Schellenberger's open hands and climbs up the field for the shot. He shoots a jump shot because it allows him to fully rotate his hips towards the goal, adding to this angle. Here's our next clip. Kastner, up ahead to Schellenberger, it's off his stick. Millen scoops. Wow, Schellenberger's fired up today. He played with emotion in that Hopkins game too, had some goals late. Millen steps in the one. Kastner throws this ball over Schellenberger's head, but he does a good job of getting a piece of it to keep it in bounds. Schellenberger understands he has a two on one ground ball here. It makes more sense for McCabe to pick this ball up because it's rolling towards him rather than away from Schellenberger. So Schellenberger makes a clear decision to go for man instead of the ball, freeing McCabe's hands. While most people understand this concept, I wanted to show this because not everyone understands the little plays Schellenberger makes every game. Here's our next clip. Seven goals this season. Okay, no numbers here, but can Virginia pin Hopkins offensive personnel on the field? Got some offensive midi stuck on. Schellenberger hands free on the run. Deposit slip. Schellenberger activates this dodge, not necessarily in a fast break situation, but the defense is a little scrambled because the ball was just turned over. He understands that a slide probably won't be ready, so it's a good time to attack. He hesitates on his dodge until Ware sets the pick. Then he attacks it. Smith cleanly gets through, so Schellenberger rolls back. Watch how he slows down and bounces out on his dodge. He's giving time for Ware to be set on the pick. By bouncing out, he draws Smith higher up so he can't get under the pick. All of this setup gets Smith caught on the pick, putting him in a huge trail position. But because the Hopkins defense is unsettled, they don't have a slide in sight. Schoenberger has lost a lot of shooting angle because of his dodging angle. By shooting a jump shot, he can turn his body more towards the goal. And if you look at the release point of his stick, it is nearly directly over his head gaining even more angle and making it extremely hard for Erlen to read. Here's our last clip. I'm gonna let that one go. Shuts, Schellenberger, rip and score. While simple, this clip just shows how fundamental Schellenberger is. First of all, this is a nice simple mana play from UVA. The cutter down the middle draws this top defender in, leaving Schellenberger wide open for the shot. Schellenberger uses the defender as a screen and places it perfectly into the bottom right. Nearly always open hands from the center, bottom right is going to be the best spot to shoot. From this range, it's nearly impossible to save this shot. I can't wait to watch Schellenberger play this weekend and the rest of his career in the PLL. Make sure to check out GLA Lacrosse for your own film breakdown. 
Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more fun breakdowns.